What, what would a better system look like compared to the one we're living in now? So if I had had to answer this question, I would have used the value of justice. And I think, to me, justice really can't be separated from love for children who are in care. And, you know, I often explain to people that how I ended up there um, it really has changed over time. Um, and when I was growing up in the system in group homes and juvenile hall and shelter in the streets, I would say that my definition of justice was being free from adults. Um, at all times, I wanted to be free. I, you know, I was a runner, I was a runner and a cutter and a fighter and the one they had to keep pulling off the street. Um, and, you know, really adults were never able to be trustworthy, not with my body, not with my spirit, um, not with my life generally. Um, after I left CARE, and I left CARE really in the exact same situation I entered CARE in, I left CARE back to the streets, um, I started doing advocacy work, and here in California spent about a decade really building our youth advocacy and organizing group um, to empower other young people who had been in the system. And my definition of justice then, if you had asked me, was the right to be heard the right to be seen and heard and have a seat at the table and have people listen to our opinions and um, have, the, have the policy discussions reflect what we thought were the priorities to be part of the solutions. Um, and then I went to law school because I came a little bit intoxicated with the idea that I could be on the other side of the power that had run my entire childhood. And in law school, I learned that what justice was, was it was procedural, right? It was getting notice and um, you know, showing up and, and, and being heard and due process. And none of those ultimately really felt like justice to me. Um, but I couldn't quite put my finger on what it actually was until I had my own baby. Um, and trying to explain to people um, the meaning of somebody who looks at you and sees that the whole world is possible, and who sees you never as the worst things you did on the worst days of your life, but who literally sees you for all of the history that went into that child standing there and all of the future that can become of them, that's justice. Um, and it's, to me, it's literally the only magic that we have in foster care or juvenile justice is that love and that parenting and that nurturing I mean it is literally magic.